Let's see if they'll just do one-on-one -on -one Deshaun Jackson for Richard Sherman. We've made a huge mistake. The Washington Redskins have a great outlook on the 2016 season. All starts with their young quarterback, Kirk Cousins, who has multiple downfield receiving threats. Guys like Deshaun Jackson, 93 speed, can take the top off a of defense. Also guys like Pierre Garçon, who can still do it even at the age of 30. They also have some emerging stars on their roster, guys like Jordan Reed, a tight end who can do it all. He can catch passes out of the backfield, he can go run vertical routes downfield and do everything for this team. It's also new faces this year for the Washington Redskins. Jano, Josh Norman, the best corner in the league. And let's not forget, of course, about the seasoned veterans like D'Angelo Hall to lead this team into a great 2016 season. We're going to start with the Redskins. They got some good corners. They got some young talent. This is going to be a tough franchise rebuild. All right, first things first, we got to take a look at our season's big decision goal. Uh, with the Redskins last year, they didn't have a great season. Uh, you know, they were kind of quarterback turmoil. Kirk Cousins came in, played well. Uh, but we always, you know, we're always going to say that we got to make the playoffs. Like, that, if we don't make the playoffs, we are failing as an organization under under my my leadership so we are always going to commit to making the playoffs let's go first things first you know we always start with the depth chart so here it is Kirk Cousins clear cut number one uh both backups Colt McCoy and Nate Sudfield I like the speed they bring to the table how about your boy Colt McCoy former Longhorn how they don't make they don't make wolf noises uh but 84 acceleration 75 speed that's pretty legit and uh, Nate Sudfield, 95, 93 throw power. That's very nice at the quarterback position. I'm a little worried about halfback, mainly because Matt Jones, I don't think this team really has a true halfback. Not great. Carry's pretty low. Uh, trucking, 89, not bad. Stiff arm, spin move. So this could be a concern spot for us. We don't have a great guy to run the ball. Alfred Morris, we lost him to free agency, so he's no longer on the squad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you, who is this guy? Keith Marshall? 94 cheddar. 93 acceleration, 90 agility, 80 strength, 83 carry. This guy is a stud muffin in the making. Not the best trucker in the world. Spin move, juke move, 89, very good. Route running, can't run routes. Not a great ball catcher. This is the guy. We are, we're we're going to start this guy. That's the first order of business. We're going to put Matt Jones uh, as our number two. Our receiving core is very... Uh, experience. We have Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Garçon. I gotta love the rookie Josh Doxson from TCU. Big body receiver, six foot two, good athleticism, can go downfield and get the ball. Pierre Garçon on the inside here as a better slot receiver, and Josh Doxson. We want Doxson. We want him to get outside opportunities uh, with all that height, all that athleticism. Let's take a look at some of his key stats. Like look at that spectacular catch in, in his catch in traffic. Our bananas. Love our tight ends. We have three serviceable tight ends. 86 speed Jordan uh, Reed, 86 speed Vernon Davis, and Niles Paul, 87 speed. All these guys are really athletic. This can mean we can run single back jumbo sets. We can uh, run a, a lot of power uh, formations and still be able to effectively pass the ball and run really well. Jordan Reed, though, 92 catch. That's really good. His route running is really high. Uh, and take a look at some of the run blocking stats on a guy like Vernon Davis. So Vernon Davis is a great number two tight end to have in the game. Hold the edge and let, uh, let our running backs uh, get off the edge with his great run blocking ability. Trent Williams, he's the anchor, left tackle, love it, 93. The rest of our line, however, it seems as though we may have forgot to build our offensive line outside of Trent Williams. He's, he's gone, we're gonna put Pi in there. Uh, we're actually gonna make Pi our number one. Uh, just because he's got all that strength, he's going to do a really good job holding the interior of our line for us. Corner, you got to love what we bring to the table with the corner. We got Josh Norman, 90 speed, one of the best corners in the game right now. We got him through the Panthers, so uh, this is going to be a big time spot for us in the secondary. Uh, also, D'Angelo Hall making a move over to free safety for us. He's got the coverage skill still, lower, a little bit lower over speed as he's starting to age in his career, but he could be a guy where we maybe consider moving him back to corner. Uh, just to take advantage of some of the things he brings to the table uh, with his coverage skills. Well, they don't want Pierre Garçon. They're somewhat interested in the third round pick. Trade declined. They're very interested in him. So let's uh, let's see if they'll just do one on one to Sean Jackson for Richard Sherman.
All right, let's put the third round pick back up. Duh, what are you? T All right, we're gonna go second round pick. Come on. All right, first round pick. It's the best thing we can offer you. Wow. On the farm till we can get a, a lights out secondary. Trade declined. First, second, and third. Oh my god. We're gonna give up our franchise left tackle to get a franchise corner and have lights out secondary coverage. Let's go. Come on, Trent Williams. Be the right club. Wow. Wow. That seems like a lot, Seattle. We got him. That we just gave up way too much. Oh no. We've made a huge mistake. Kirk Kirk Cousins is gonna play lights out for us. Kirk Cousins, and I have confidence in Cody Booth. Alright guys, we will see you at midseason. Hopefully we're gonna go 8 and 0. Probably not. God, it's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. We are ter oh no. We are in the bottom of the NFC East at two and six. Antho the boss would not be happy with me right now. Kirk Cousins. Oh my God, he's thrown for three touchdowns. He's, that is, that is awful. Oh my God, we we had we all. Keith Marshall, two point eight yards a carry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Are you? Who is this guy? Keith Marshall. 94 cheddar. We've destroyed this. We have decimated this team. Ants four games ahead, and we'll see you guys. Hopefully, we can turn this around. If we can win out, if we can win out, we have a shot to maybe get the playoffs. Probably not, though. All right, bad news, guys. Bad news. Remember that time when I said when we were, I think we were two and six, and he said if we win out, we're going to make the playoffs? Well, we won one game from that point. Uh, we thought we had lockdown defense, but uh, we gave up the most points, I think, in the entire league. I think we might have been the worst team in the league. We finished dead last. Our offense was terrible. We scored the fewest points in the entire league. We finished 3-13. and Tom Brady retired. We gotta figure out a way to improve. Not looking good. This is 0 for 3 getting the, the playoffs. Kirk Cousins was through for 9 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. Matt Jones, I didn't even, I didn't even, don't even think I ran for 500 yards the whole season. Kirk Cousins was second in my team in running the ball. Keith Marshall was supposed to be my guy. Oh, whoa, 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 94 Cheddar and 2.8 yards of carry. Receiving wise, Jordan Reed actually had a really good season. Josh Doxson, as a rookie, had a good season. Then from there, like Pierre Garcon, did you did you did you play? Eventually, rebuild a team, rebuild a squad. Does anyone have a layup team? Should I just go and use the Seahawks the next two 32 because they'll probably help me be able to have success when it comes to simulating these things. That's gonna do it for the Redskins. Uh, we have a lot of work to do when it comes to building these squads. I'm gonna have to reach out to somebody that knows a thing or two, my guy Moonlight Swami, see if he can help me learn how to build a proper franchise and not run them into the ground. We are currently 0-3 when it comes to getting the playoffs. We took the Patriots, that was the biggest layup in the history of layups, and we didn't even get in the playoffs with them. So, until next time guys, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Make sure to comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next True 32.